So we're going to talk about simming today for Mythic Plus raids and to see if you're getting an upgrade out of the vault or not. So first thing you want to do is go to WowUp or whatever you get your uh, your add-ons from and get download simulation craft. Then go into WoW, just type slash simc, copy the string, and then paste it in up here. So if you have items in the vault you haven't opened yet, you can just click this uh, button here, select all great vault items. And you can go ahead and check if you've got any upgrades from the vault. I'm going to swap over to um, a character I actually want to sim. So I'll pause quickly. Right. Okay. So I'm on my Demon Hunter now. Same thing again. Copy and paste the string into there. Right. So you want to be on Raidbot's website. And you want to be on Top Gear for simming. And again, paste the string into here. And if you go down again, if you've got any vault items, you can click here. And then basically, if you want to compare any items, you just click the item you want to compare against. All I'm going to do right now is uh, sim for sockets. So again, you just choose whatever items you think you might uh, want to, you know, compare against basically and select all the ones you want. And then what I like to do is you can turn this off. This, uh, this adds a, a lot more work to the sim. And if you're not... Uh, you know, subscribing to raid bots you probably won't have enough uh, space to do this um so i'll leave it off for now but basically what this allows you to do is to check against uh, gems and enchants to see if you should be changing on any items uh one thing to keep in mind is if you're um checking two items say two rings and i've already got enchants and gems on if you don't tick this option it won't um replace those gems and enchants so the sim might be incorrect so if an item doesn't have any gems or enchants and you select these here what it'll do is it'll automatically put a gem or enchant on that item and it's perfectly fine but if you already have items that have gems and enchants i've said gems and enchants way too much then you need to make sure you're selecting replace uh, existing gems and enchants otherwise it won't be a, a correct sim so uh, i'll do this and then i'll uh, skip ahead because it takes as you say there a lot longer to do um, don't select absolutely everything. You know, if you don't use mastery ever, then obviously leave that off. But I like to keep the others on because sometimes you might be lower in one stat or another. Right, so that's basically how you choose an item, how you set up enchants. Now, this is um, all your shards. So I've selected the shards I actually have. But if you haven't upgraded any shards yet, and you're not too sure which ones to do, what I would do is put all the shards at Potentious. I think that's how you say it. Basically, you put the shards at their max level. Then that will tell you exactly what's the best outcome. So you can look at upgrading those shards. I know what I want to use. So I'm just choosing what I've got upgraded. So it's making it put them in, you know, the right order and stuff like that. So All right now we get down to Soulbind. So this takes up a lot of room if you're going to activate all the Soulbinds. What I would do is if you watch one of my other videos about uh, reading uh, logs and knowing what Soulbinds and what conduits to use rather than using sim to 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 tell you what's the best um, because this will take ages um it's much better if you just know already what you're using and ignore this basically um it's just too much extra work for the sim again with talents uh, you should probably already have your talents on before you uh you know run the sim if you need to change talents you can you can do it here but uh honestly just um put your talents correct before you start the sim if you decide you want to change um a soul bind or condor or anything like that um it's better to change it in game and then get the string again and paste it and start over honestly uh probably the better way to do that um right now we get down to the, the kind of tricky bit so for raiding you want to do patchwork one boss five minutes and you want to make sure you tick domination shard set bonus because they are active in raids so make sure you have that ticked scroll down you want to do just click on optimal raid buffs if you're in a raid and you're good to go. You can just click find top gear. If you're doing Mythic Plus and it's Tyrannical Week, keep it exactly the same. Just take off Domination Shard set bonuses because they're not active in Mythic Plus. And then also just click no buffs. And then you can go through and put what buffs you'll have, what food buff you're using, what flasks and so forth. I honestly can't be bothered. I just click no buffs for Mythic Plus. And then for raids, I click optimal raid buffs. You can even go far as to simming different, uh, you know, weapon oils and uh, shopping stones. Uh, generally, just leave that on default because it's not that big of a difference. And again, that's something you probably already know if you're using shopping stones or oils. 
I personally use oils for raiding and sharpening stones for mythic plus, depending on maybe the week. But that's usually what I do. And that's basically it. So again, for raids, one boss, five uh, five minutes, um, with domination shard set bonus and optimal raid buffs. For mythic plus, turn off shard bonuses and turn off buffs. So for tyrannical weeks, this is what I do. For like fortified weeks, there's a few different ways you could do it. You could do five boss, uh, one minute, or you could do 10 boss, 10 minutes. <laughs> um, honestly, it doesn't sim AOE, you know, 100% correct. So I would pretty much always just do one boss, five minutes, uh, yeah. But uh, I do check every now and then, I'll check five boss, one minute, just in case. Um, Sent trinkets might, you know, sim a little bit different on this kind of sim. But generally it's kind of hard to sim the AOE, so as long as you're looking at your single target and getting all that spot on, especially if it's tyrannical week, you're going to be okay. Um, but you can try around with five boss one minutes if you want to test certain trinkets out to see if they're going to be better overall. But uh, I mean, you could even just do like do 10 boss 10 minutes and see how long, see what trinkets last over that kind of time. Um, but the most important thing is to turn off domination set bonuses and buffs uh, when you're swapping between Mythic Plus and Raids. You can go into a lot more detail with this, uh, it's this uh, website. It's really, really handy. One quick thing I'll touch on is, uh, I think it's Droptimizer. So if you're not too sure what you should be doing to get your upgrades, so you don't know where your best item from a dungeon or for a, what raid boss it is, um, you can, uh, whoops, I'm typing in. You can paste your string into here and you can literally specifically choose dungeons. And then what I would do is choose the plus 12 weekly chest because any item you get from a dungeon can be upgraded to 246 with uh, Valor. So um, uh, that's the option I choose because then you know if any item you get and it's worth upgrading for, from Valor. Weekly chest, you're going to have to maybe sim, like I said at the start, choosing your vault items to see if that item is an upgrade. Generally, it will be at 252, unless it's a really bad stat. Um, but you can sim that separately. The other thing you can obviously check is raid, so you can go into Sanctum Domination and choose whatever difficulty you're currently doing, and then it'll tell you what um, what what the best upgrade is from that from that uh, raid. So if I do... Uh, Optimizer on Heroic. It shouldn't take too long. Mythic Plus will take a lot longer. Um, and it basically just tells you, like, oh, this is the only upgrade you can get left from the raid. This is the only upgrade you can get from these dungeons. So you can know I have to go farm Spires for a certain item, and the rest I can ignore for a bit. And if you're wondering what to upgrade with Valor, um, again, it, you can see from that then it'll say this item at 246 is a big upgrade for you. So if you already have it, um, it's not 246, and you know uh, to go ahead and upgrade it. Smoke break. If you end up using this a lot, I do highly recommend supporting raid bots. Uh, they give you uh, more iterations, so you can do the replace gems and enchants you know, a lot more easily. And you can add uh, a lot more items in one sim at a time. And it also makes the sims go a lot faster. Um, you can also use my Discord to run sims. Um, so if you haven't been already, maybe, maybe go check the Discord out. There's a raid bot channel in there, so you can run quick sims and stuff like that. So, um, is kind of fun and show off uh, how much damage a character can do all right so this is finished so we can see so the only upgrades i have left from the raid is sylvanas guardian i could have sworn the weapon from painsmith would have been in here hmm painsmith's weapon's actually a downgrade for me now that's uh unusual i thought that would have seemed higher to be honest but very little left from the raids for me so yeah, I hope this video uh, helped you out. If it did, you know the usual, YouTube, do a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, I stream over on Twitch if you want to come hang out with your viewer raids and keys. You can ask me any questions you have there. I'm currently maining uh, Havoc, so if you play Havoc, I've uh, put out a guide as well, so I'll link that down below. Uh, make sure you join our community as well over on Discord. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.